Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on my tutorial series. And today we're looking at On Air Airline Manager. As you can see here, manage your own airline company in the online persistent world. So this is an add-on feature for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and X-Plane 11. If you wanted it to use it for that, you could use it for either. And basically this gives us um, a bit like a career mode to our flight simulator. So after you just spent, you know, 60 to 130 euros on a game, and you think, well, what do I do now? This is, well, one of the answers. There are a few options. You have FS uh, economy as well. Uh, but this is the one that I am using. So what is Online Air Manager? Okay, is a persistent world connected to your simulation session hosting the airline company. Okay, so you get to run your own company in persistent world. Your flights are tracked and automatically integrated into the system. You connect the logistics center to search for the best jobs. There are some different modes and different skill points and perks, which is all good. And there is a free trial for you guys to try. I think you get about five or six days on a free trial if you wish. Now, all you would do is hit download. Uh, when you start hitting your download your free trial, you'd obviously go for your 64-bit version and it would download a little exe file, which you just have to run, log in, create a login, and then it will bring you to its next page. Okay, so we're here on, on, Air, on Airline Manager. This is the uh, main page on, on the file once you've logged yourself in. So we're going to make a company name here. We're going to start our company. Now, this is a virtual company where you guys can actually come and fly for me as well. Uh, we can do AI pilots and do all kinds of different things. Um, just like before on my FSX days, uh, Inside A Airlines. Uh, but my A is the airlines. Look, very smart, hey. Um, airline code. Uh, EIG, Inside A Gamer. Okay, we get to uh, obviously pick our name here. Um, there we go. And we get to choose Avatar. There's not many to pick from here. Let's see if we can get a blondie. Don't really have a goatee. Don't, oh, I'm not Jesus either. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so he might have to do. Uh, like, no. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay uh, initial location I actually put Galway but I'm going to change that I'm basically Galway is my local airport and I'd quite like to use it but what I'm going to do is use EIDL which is Donegal because it's one of the handcrafted airports on the game so it'd be a little bit nicer than what Galway has to offer us um, okay then we go some different difficulties we're just gonna leave it on classic I'm not gonna put it on easy I'm not gonna put it on realistic either it gets a bit too hard and it's a bit silly with like all your little failures and stuff and job pay bonus, you know what? Uh, let's give 20%. Uh, 20%. We've got to give us a good chance. Survival mode is a mode basically, um, you can look at it on the website itself. It's not easy. Um, I won't go into that too much. If, if that is, if you're really hardcore into this, that is for you. And go to create. That line code is too short. Okay, so we're going to have to put an R on the end. I'll do then. Okay, so then what will happen is you'll load up into the company's uh, online manager database. Okay, so once you've executed the EXE file, you'll come up to the main dashboard, which we have here now. As you can see, now we've created our company. And we've got a few things. So look, we have 170,000 cash. Um, we need to have a look at skill points and stuff like that as well, if we have a look here. I have taken my one skill point you start with, and I put it to my passenger's license. Uh, I felt like that was the best thing to do here. Uh, at the minute if we go back to our home screen there's a lot of stuff we need to look through aircrafts employees and they've already given us one job one job is pending unfortunately uh, and it is a cargo mission okay well okay so that's going quite far here this is a long first flight wow okay but that's good okay so we do have the flight that we need that is okay so we're going basically from Donegal um, I take it that's Belfast International EGAA yep okay so that is a fairly decent flight so we need a plane so if we take us back to the home page we can now look at planes and we're going to go to aircraft we're going to look at the global market so we haven't loaded anything into the sim so we're going to choose in a list basically at the moment we're only allowed a single piston engine that's all we're allowed to take at the moment so we're going to look at that and we're going to search it Okay, so we're going to get a big list here. And as you can see, look, you're going to get a lot of different things. We need to change the sim. So we want to click on this little box here and change it to MF MFS. 
and there you go this will give us all the very small airplanes and it can tell you look what can take what cargoes uh, the ranges etc what i'm actually going to go for is the cessna 152 i know it's a little bit boring but it can take some cargo and it can take passengers and it's only 48 grand look at that that's not a bad bad sign but now we have to try and find one in the area so we're in Donegal that's where our job starts so uh, DL search aircraft database and here we go so look there's lots of aircraft around so what we want to do here now is go by distance so our nearest one is in EGAE E EGAE. Okay, perfect. The sale price is 42,000, or we can rent it for that. But uh, it's not in bad condition, you know. There is this one, it's 94 nautical miles. You know what? I think we're going to go for this one. This is the one we're going to go for here. And we're going to click on details. And here we go. Here it is. It gives us all the different bits and pieces here. It needs a co pilot. No, it doesn't. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, date of next checkup. Okay. Estimated by expert, 40,000. Okay, so we're going to buy this. This is your first aircraft. You can be teleported for free at this location. Now, you want to be teleported. If you do not choose to be teleported, it takes real time to travel to that destination. So, yes, we want to be teleported. And here you go. It's now taken us. So, this is where we're going. We're actually in Londonderry. Okay, so that tells you where we are. So, it's going to be a very short flight back to Donegal. So, we do need to take this plane to Donegal to start our job you don't have much fuel okay that's all good though but you know what we, we have what we need here okay so just you can click on the aircraft details and again that'll bring you up the same page as before so this adds a lot of realism to it um, but yeah so basically if I could let you guys rent it etc we can put it on the market we can sell it so it's kind of real-time interaction with you guys as well which is really cool I really like that Okay, so what we need to do is actually set this up in the sim. So that's what I'm going to do behind us now. So what is the code for this airport? EGAE. -E. Okay, so if we go into the sim. Okay, so we want to select EGAE. -E. Londonderry, Eglinton. Okay. Um, we're going to want to put on a cold start because, you know, that makes sense, doesn't it? You don't want to make it make a bit of realism into the game okay so look we'll just take this parking here set as our departure and our arrival airport will be EIDL EIDL done it all okay perfect so there you go 41 nautical miles uh, runway 21 doesn't matter which runway we come in and what we want to do then we want to make sure we have the Cessna selected which we do and we're gonna press fly now we're gonna let that load in okay so behind us the flight has loaded in uh, and we want to prepare for the next flight that's what we now need to do okay so we need to make sure we have enough fuel uh, at the moment we've got enough for uh, 70 nautical miles which would be enough but we might as well put in a bit more fuel while we're here and we'll level this out a little bit so there we go so we've got 131 that is fine uh, fuel data so this is the prices that we're going to have to pay at this airport not much we can do about that uh, we're going to be taking no cargoes no passengers for us we can confirm fuel and payload so this is now transferring the work to all of the apron agents now this is the same when you have cargo and passengers it takes time for them okay so we go back to preparing the aircraft as well but there is nothing for them to do the fuels and all that are done and we can actually now you, you get to check all our limits and stuff but we know we're fine with nothing going on we can confirm and fly now okay so now this is connected up now this is that screen so when you are loading uh, fuel loading is actually finished which is good um, but if we have passengers loading okay it's going to take time now we need to put in the destination so you have to input it in the sim and you have to input it in here as well um, so E G A E that's where we are now and we are going and that's giving us our alternative which is older group okay so our destination um, E I D L Donegal and it's given us Connacht as our alternative, which is fine. We've got no co-pilot. We've got ourselves. We're inside here. And uh, basically launch and ready to go. We don't need an AI pilot. We don't need to hire a pilot. 
we can go to the flight tracking page. Yes. We don't support any add-on to change the time during the flight tracking. Do you want this one to be split again next time you start flight tracking? Yes. Okay, so it's now brought us up this new page. It is now tracking us. Here we are in our aircraft. Everything is set and we can start tracking. Okay, so it's now tracking. Unfortunately, we have to do it in real time. So this will be a nighttime flight for us. Okay, so we're now ready for tracking our flight. It is nighttime, it has changed our day. You have to do this in real time, which is the only downside when I record in the evenings. Uh, but anyways, here we go. Let's get down here onto the plane. We're gonna turn on the batteries, master, oh, master switch, battery switch, dome lights on, these lights are on, prime the engine, one or two pumps, uh, mixture it all the way in. This to about, you know, about 20%. And make sure we put on the fuel pump. It's very, very important here. Okay, let's. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Okay, so flight monitoring is in place. Awesome. Uh, we might as well throw on our taxi landing lights, our beacon lights here at this point. A bit of pilot heat, why not? It's a bit cold out here. Okay, everything is looking good. So this is just a short flight, short tutorial of, of this. I am going to bring this into a weekly episode. That is the plan. Okay, we'll bring our yoke back. Um, we don't need ATC. The only thing I do need is our little map here, just so I can see where the hell we are and what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to come off here uh, and basically just head down to the runway and we can just join it and take off from here. To be fair, there is more than enough for us. Okay, lovely. Pull out the parking brake and let's go. Let's go to our airport so we can actually start doing some work. And it's a nice evening flight. It's the first time I've actually flown on the channel in the evening as well, which is nice. In our very own Cessna 152 as well, which is even better. So look, so this adds a little bit of realism to the game. Uh, and I'm just basically just showing you what it kind of brings to it, what what you know, what you can do with it. It is a pretty cool add-on. Now, once you get up in the air, like I said, it's going to be a very short flight. I have AI traffic turned off, uh, ATC we're not using, we're VRFR. So once we get here, we're going to turn and burn, basically. That's the plan. So prepare for takeoff, guys. 50%. Overall. Like 50 knots and rotate. Airborne time logged. Airborne without flaps. Okay, so that's the only thing with this. Uh, it is going to penalize us quite a lot for everything. I didn't realize it was going to penalize us for flaps. You don't actually need flaps for this plane to take off. That's very interesting that it has done that, but anyways, so be it. And uh, we're just going to basically follow our flight line up here on this very, very short flight to Donegal. We're not going to get too much height either. Just a nice evening flight out here in Northern Ireland. Currently we're in Northern Ireland anyways. That is where we are. Here we go as we take off. So yeah, this is anything, like I said, does add realism to the game. So. It will penalize you, so you need flaps, even though the Cessnas do not need flaps to take off. It is telling you, you need flaps to take off. And it's going to log every little detail, so we need a smooth flight for points, jobs, etc. Um, so yeah, so we're going to keep climbing here for a little bit more. I am going to switch to try to use the pitch. Uh, the pitch, for some reason, can be a little bit buggy. I just need to see it there for a second, which way we're moving. Nose up. Yeah, that's what I want. Good plane. 
Want a bit more pitch. There we go. Get a bit of altitude. Want about 2,000 feet in case anything goes wrong. We have brought the plane. Failures are on. Things can happen, uh, which is really good fun. Um, but I'm really excited about this add-on. It really does bring something else now to the game. Um, and what I will do, let me know in the comments down below, do you want me to make this a weekly thing on the channel? Would this be something that you'd like to see? Watch us grow and develop. Uh, let, let me know, really. There we go. As we leave Northern Ireland. Beautiful down there. Bit windy. I have real weather on. It was a little bit windy out there this evening as well. But lovely. First night flight for me. There you go, we take the dome light out while we're flying. We're gonna enjoy not so bright in your eyes. Now I could set my navigation to follow all this, but I like flying these by hand if I'm honest with you. Uh, I find it a lot more fun. So we'll have to make sure we land with flaps, we'll have to make sure we take off with flaps, something to take note of. I'm going to flick these lights back on for a second because I do want to just get the trim. Uh, once we get to around 2,500, I think that's enough. I said it's a very, very short flight here this evening. And like I said, but the only problem is if I live stream this, I usually live stream even, so it always had to be night flights. So uh, I might have to do pre recordings of this for some day stuff. But we've only got small planes, so I can only assume that it'd be short flights, anyways. Uh, you would imagine. But the add on itself, um, price wise, it's actually not that expensive. I know FS uh, economy is free. Uh, but there was a long wait to get a code for all that um, so if you are interested in doing that one you really need to start applying because they're, they're quite a few days behind um, but this one it's around if you pay monthly it's about nine euros a month but they do do deals say if you you know if you if you buy it for the year uh, i mean it, i'll have to show you the prices at the end but it does work out a lot cheaper um, you know if you do three i think three months for 20 euros that's not bad and it brings a lot to the game the the support the forums are very very good as well um, so yeah look, I think it's very much worth it brings that extra dimension to the game and that's exactly what I like with these games I like it to have a little bit of meaning it's nice to have a bit of meaning okay uh, we are now up to 3,000 feet after I said I didn't want to go that high uh, that's fine let's just sort out our trim here I find that the trim is very much one way or the, or the other with this up a little bit more there we go, it seems to be holding nicely now. Uh, everything else is looking good. All temperatures looking a little high, possibly. Just going to pull the throttle back a little bit here. Uh, sit around 90 knots, I think, is more than enough. And we are climbing again for some reason. That's that lovely pitch for you. The ball is going off course.
I won't take this out for some passenger flights, that's for sure. So look, uh, as we still slowly make our way to Donegal, so yeah, so this very first flight unfortunately is not a cargo, but this is what you have to do. You have to buy your plane and bring it back. Realistically, you know, we might drop a cargo off somewhere and we're going to have to fly back. So wherever we go, unless there's a job in that airport, we are going to have to go back to our base airport. So that's how it kind of works. Um, so it's kind of a good thing what you do is maybe pick a job, see which airport is taking you, and then you can actually check what jobs are at that airport as well. Um, and you might be able to do quite a few jobs before you end up back at your own base. Uh, try and make the, the most of it, that's for sure. That is something that you should definitely do. We will fly with ATC as well, uh, just because this is an evening flight, BFR. We're only bringing the aircraft back, I didn't see the, the real need. The aircraft seems to be running nicely. Everything is running well. And uh, what I will do here now is I will see you once we make our approach into Donegal. Okay, and here we are, we're at Donegal Airport. Here is our landing strip. This is where we're going to be coming in. Uh, we should have come in from the north, really, but it doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we're going to prepare for landing. We're dropping our altitude now as we speak. We're just pulling away a little bit before we come back in. Flaps to one. Flaps to four. And our speed and our altitude. Weed calm. Landing time logged. Landed at Echo India Delta Lima, Donegal. Nice. We're going to turn around and go park it at the gates. So it wasn't a, a bad flight, very short flight. Uh, but now we can actually get into the game. Uh, so there we go. It is that simple. Like I said, it gives something else to the game now, which uh, for me it means a lot, and probably for a lot of you simmers as well. Look, it also helps with the fly time of these smaller planes, build our way up to the twin props, to the jets, get a couple of jets going. Um, once this is all kind of set up, if any of you guys want to come work with me, you're more than welcome. I don't want to miss it. Here, here it is. Uh, yeah, you'd be more than welcome to come work with me. Landing lights are on already, that's fine. So we do need to park up. Uh, you, any of you want to come rent my aircraft, fly with me, whatever you want to do, build your own companies, maybe I'll come do some flights for you guys. Uh, yeah, look, I'm more than happy to get into that kind of stuff with you guys. Uh, so there we go, we're at the parking bay, parking brakes on. So we, what we now need to do is we now need to shut down the plane. Engine off time logged. End of flight, registered in on-air company. And perfect, everything is off. We're all ready to go. And it has said, look, we now have a notification. So that has all been done. And we're now gonna bring up this. So here we go. Um, we we received 22% including 8% bonus. Okay, so we've got to, we can show our flight record. What did we get here? 
Uh, airborne without flaps, so we've got a little penalty. Lights are on, at engine shut down except for beacon or stripe. So there you go, so you do need to know all these things off by heart. Uh, yeah, I should have had the taxi lights off and stuff before I shut it all down. That's fair enough, I didn't do that. Um, we press OK. And now look, it's brought us down to our airport, which is exactly what we want. And if we went into, say, our home screen now, we can take this job. And here it is. And since we are here, we can now do this. It's 339 food crates to EGAA, which we can do, which we'll do on the next episode. Um, if you want this to become a series, if not, I'll do this in my own private time. But here we go, it's just a bit of a showing tutorial of how to load it in and what you have to do in the game. There's a lot of things, you've got to play around with it. Uh, a lot of things that you have to get used to, etc. But it is really good fun, a really good add-on, definitely worth the value. Um, so yeah, look, there we go. If you want to join these content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit that bell icon for notifications. I upload nearly every single day. And I'd love myself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.